The U.S. Census Bureau's American Community Survey, also known as the ACS, is a nationwide survey that collects information on the demographic, social, economic, and housing characteristics of the U.S. population. The ACS is the best annually updated source of local comparable data. Data analysts, government officials, businesses, and many others use these statistics for local planning and policy development and to track the population's well-being. The ACS is an ongoing survey sent to a representative sample of 3.5 million addresses per year, with survey information collected nearly every day of the year. In addition to collecting information about households, the Census Bureau also collects ACS data for people living in group quarter facilities, such as college dorms, prisons, and military barracks. Each annual release from the ACS contains data collected in the prior year, making it one of the most up-to-date resources on the U.S. population. Typically, data releases begin in September and continue through January of the next calendar year. For example, data collected in the 2019 ACS will begin to be released in fall 2020. Because the ACS is in the field continuously and data are pulled across a calendar year to produce estimates for that year, ACS estimates reflect a period of time rather than a single point in time. The Census Bureau produces two main types of ACS estimates, one-year estimates and five-year estimates. The one-year ACS estimates provide data for a 12-month calendar year period, and the five-year estimates combine 60 consecutive months of data to produce estimates that cover a five-year period. Choosing to use the one-year estimates or the five-year estimates depends on several factors, such as the size of the geographic area of interest, the importance of having the most current estimate, and the need for the most precise estimate. Data from the ACS are tabulated for a variety of geographic areas, ranging from large areas such as the nation and states to smaller areas such as cities, school districts, and census tracts. Many geographic areas are organized in a hierarchy with smaller geographic areas nested within larger geographic areas. For example, census tracts are nested within counties and counties are nested within states. The wide range of geographic areas available allows data users to drill down to describe the characteristics of their communities, how they compare with other geographic areas, and how they have changed across time. For geographic areas with smaller populations, the ACS samples too few housing units to provide reliable, single-year estimates. One-year estimates are available for geographic areas with at least 65,000 people and one-year supplemental estimates provide selected data for geographic areas with at least 20,000 people. The five-year ACS data provide estimates for all geographic areas down to the block group level. Because the ACS is based on a sample rather than all housing units and people, ACS estimates have a degree of uncertainty associated with them called sampling error. In general, the larger the sample, the smaller the level of sampling error. The ACS includes many topics that are relevant for child well-being, such as school enrollment and educational attainment, employment status, income, health insurance coverage, and family structure. Many ACS data tables are also available, disaggregated by age, sex, race, and ethnicity. Data.census.gov is the Census Bureau's new tool for accessing ACS and other Census Bureau data. It provides access to many different types of data tables, ranging from data profiles that summarize key social and economic data for a single geography to detailed tables that provide comprehensive statistics for all subjects included in the ACS. To use data.census.gov, begin by typing in a subject or topic of interest. For example, poverty. You can also use an advanced search to apply filters and browse the available data. The Census Bureau has several training tools available to assist you in getting started with data.census.gov. More advanced data users can also access detailed ACS data through downloadable summary files, the Public Use Microdata Sample Files, or PUMS, or the Census Bureau's Application Programming Interface, or API. To find out more about the ACS, visit the Census Bureau's ACS webpage, where you can learn about the survey, access different types of data user documentation, and view several training webinars. For example, the Census Bureau has produced a series of ACS handbooks 
to help data users understand the basics of the survey and how the data can be used. You can also join the ACS Data Users Group. Through this free online community, you can communicate with others about ACS data and learn about ACS-related events and data applications.